hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends and sorry to disable the chat to avoid problem with youtube but we allow you to have some chat before we start uh, our topic today our question very simple and i challenge any muslim to answer it in the front of us on the screen there is uh, an old picture of a cult leader if you make a simple study about cult leaders you will notice all of them they share only one thing I mean in common sex all of them they want as many women as they can an order and in order to accomplish this mission they have to convince their followers that this is an honorable thing to do it's a god who want them to do that it's a mission from god by sleeping with this man god is happy and not only that if god is happy for you did sleep with him god is happy from you too so you will be treated differently because you made the most important person for god happy <clears throat> so how those women have to do make this man happy sex and why this man he need a lot of them i mean one woman she can do have sex what when one woman can do 100 women cannot do i mean it's the same you have one or 100 women is a woman so why cult leaders not only they want sex from their followers but they want a lot of women you see if you study some uh, psychology you will find that uh, uh, when you think you are let us say uh, you are in control of people you're controlling their mind you control their pocket you control their behavior you control everything about them and obviously the one who want to control everything they have he have a purpose from this control he is not having control of god he is having control of himself for his benefit and this control will lead him to take from you what usually you will not give by controlling your mind and making you believe that what you are doing is a holy duty if we go in the quran and they said the question will be for the muslims and i challenge any muslim to answer it friendly challenge you can leave your comment or if you are a sheikh feel free to challenge me to call me and talk about it <clears throat> chapter 33 verse number 50 this verse is designated for sex the whole purpose of it is sex imagine we have a god supposedly his name is allah and he is the one who controls the universe. I mean, do you see how big this universe is? Like in order to go to a star, you need maybe a hundred year, you know, flying in the speed of light. <clears throat> Some stars even go, you know, like behind galaxies. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> I apologize. All right, water is good. This is what the coffee do to me, but I cannot resist it. <laughs> Muhammad, you cannot resist women. I cannot resist coffee, man. <laughs> I'm taking advantage of the coffee. I convinced the coffee that if I drink her, she will make me, I mean, she will get a, a, a better place in heaven. So this man who claimed that his God sent him this, you need to think first about the God who wrote this. Because Muhammad and Muslim they claim that those words are written by Allah. For sure, not the English ones, the Arabic. Which is very funny. I mean, English, Arabic doesn't matter. 
But it's funny that this God, Allah, he speaks Arabic only. Ya ayyuhal nabi, inna ahlalna laka azwajaka allati atta... It's a territory to the rest of that, you know, for those who speak Arabic. Translation, and then you see translation is made by Muslims. And here you notice something very funny and very silly. O oh, Prophet, we have made lawful for you, the wives. I mean, the guy is already sleeping with them for us for, for, for a long time, and now you are telling him they are lawful for him? Are you saying that Muhammad was sleeping with them and they were not lawful but before that point? Because either it is it was lawful and then there's no point of to say to him, I made them lawful for you, or they were not lawful and now you are telling him. I mean, what what is this? This is... And then he starts counting how many women Muhammad he can sleep with. So he starts like saying, Allah assigned to thee, there's women Allah assigned to thee. You see, Muhammad is not after women. But Allah assigned women prisoners to thee. I mean, the guy is really busy. You know, the Muslim, they will say to you, well, do you know that uh, David, he have uh, how many wives? Well, if you go to Second Samuel, you will see that David is a sinner and God condemning David for his sin. Who said, you know, you will see that the, uh, the whole Bible speak about the sin. And David himself, he admit that he is a sinner. He asked God for forgiveness for his sin. So there is a huge difference between a king, he was lousy, let us say, going after women, committing sin, doing evil. And a prophet who commits sin, but yet he claimed that his God asked him to do this holy sin, sleep with those women. And the daughters of your uncles, and the daughters of your aunts, and the daughters of uh, uh, whatever uncle, and the daughters of etc., and whoever women she Im immigrated with you, well, anyone? Yes, anyone. And any believing women she dictate her soul to the prophet her soul the word soul here is stupid by the way because in arabic the translator obviously is using google translation he translate the word nafsaha nafs nafs can be used as soul but in this case nafsaha herself not soul you idiot or you cannot dictate your soul to a man i mean woman she is going to sleep with him she is dictating her body Anyway, you can, if you change the translation, this is Yusuf Ali, change the translator, you will see the Quran change in a miraculous way always. Like this is uh, Hilali Khan. <clears throat> right away, you will notice that the Quran is different Quran, right? So here you will see, uh, uh, it says, and a believing woman, look how what happened from, from her soul to, and a believing woman, if she offer herself to the Prophet, and this is my simple question, which no Muslim can answer. What does this have to do with God? This guy already have many, many wives. <clears throat> like, is he a person trying to find a wife and there's nobody is responding? Is he desperate to have a woman to live with him and he cannot find one? No. Muslim, they say that the Prophet, he loved Aisha very much. Yes, the Prophet, he loved Aisha too much to the point he couldn't, he considered her the same as food. He claimed that Aisha, she is the best food he eat. I mean, do you see how much love? Imagine you have your husband taking you out for a dinner and then he speak about you, says, from all the women I slept with, this woman, she is the best rice I ate. <laughs> so Muhammad he see women as a dish of food this is how the women she, I mean this is the most insulting statement for a man to a woman she is just a dish of food and Muhammad he claimed that Aisha she is superior as much as rice 
here this this is not rice you know i'm just trying to make it simple for you to understand it's kind of food close to the rice so it's the same as rice compared to other whatever <laughs> Like to make it uh, simple for you, let's say there's a person he like uh, shawarma, you know shawarma like the sandwich. So you say you are sitting with your wife, and there's other wives there, and maybe you have friends. And then you say Aisha is my shawarma, <laughs> compared to the other sandwiches. <laughs> Here you notice the mentality of this ill man, who is looking at the women as something to digest, to consume, to eat and spit, or even to defecate. She is his best dish. So Muhammad, as long as he have too many women, and Aisha is the best dish, why does this man want more? And why does God, he go to his office and he make a statement saying, and any woman she want to offer herself to the prophet. What does have to do with God? What does have to do with Islam? You see Islam about worshiping one God. Okay, one God. What one God have to do with any woman she want to offer herself to Muhammad? What that will serve? You will not find a single Muslim can answer you. All what they will say to you, blah, 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 blah. Well, just watch the text. And actually, I ask a question, you will see the Muslim comment have nothing to do with the question. Because all the questions are embarrassing to Islam. There's a person who said Islam is strong. I said, well, Islam is strong, but cartoon can shake you. Islam is strong, but a comment in Facebook will cause a nation to go in the street? Do you see how strong it is? Why are you afraid? Afraid from what? Afraid of a comment. So in order to silence those who make a comment about the stupidity and the faith of Muhammad, we go and kill them. You see how strong Islam is? Islam is so strong to the point it cannot take criticism. This is a behavior of a coward of a man he knew he is guilty, of a criminal he cannot take it to be criticized. Criminal mentality. And now you need to ask yourself, okay, Muhammad is a prophet, for the sake of argument. Muhammad now is in Mecca. Okay, wonderful. Muhammad trying to make people worship only Allah. Okay, that's amazing. Let us worship Allah and kiss the black stone and then Allah will give us a lot of versions. Even that idea of worshiping Allah is based on sex. But this is not enough. It's not only Allah is a sexual God promising Muslim sex. Allah the sexual God, he need to, so to supply Muhammad with sex. You know, you know like uh, if I'm a prophet, God forbid, uh, and then I say to you, I receive a message from God Supposedly this God, his name is Allah, because we cannot say our God will do that to me. For our God have different value and different ethic, totally different. So let us say I claim to be a prophet. My name is Muhammad and I come to you and you are, you say, and I exist 1400 years ago. And then I say to you, any woman, she can give herself to me. You as a listener, what you think about that? You see, we have a first hand witness for the conversation. Aisha which Muhammad, he saw her as a dish of food. She questions the decency of Muhammad. And if this is the wife of Muhammad, questioning Muhammad behavior, what about people who they were around? Aisha, she said, and this is Sahih, Muslim cannot say this is weak and this garbage, you know, all what they say is Sahih, weak. Islam is weak anyway. I was jealous. I felt jealous. 
of women who offered themselves to Allah Messenger. Offered themselves. Now many of you will ask why women are offering themselves. Have you ever heard of women they marry a man for retirement plan, for security, for income? Imagine we are 1400 years ago. And you know how tough life is. War and etc. And you need support. One night with Muhammad will make you protected until you die. It is a retirement plan. Even Muhammad, he made verses about them that nobody can marry his wives or the women he slept with after him. Nobody can touch them. Not only, not only he sleep with them, but after him, no man can touch those women. So Aisha, <clears throat> she noticed that Muhammad is after women. And she noticed that his God, he rushed into his desire. And because this God, he rushed into his desire, she questioned that. She said, I said, it seemed to me that your Lord hastened to satisfy your desire. Here you will notice that this is the desire of Muhammad, not desire of Allah. Here you notice that Aisha, she knew that those verses are not from Allah. This is your desire. Muhammad, who is sick person, sexually sick, he liked to own as many as he can of women. And because he liked to own the women, he want to have as many as he can. In the same time, after he owned them, even if he is dead, they cannot go free. Every single Muslim woman, if she is divorced or she is a widow, she can get married. Well, not for Muhammad. Muhammad wives cannot get married after him. If you ask a Muslim, what is the wisdom of women marrying after her, the death of her husband? He will say this is better for her so she will not commit sin. Okay, we agree. That's better. She will have a husband who protect her. She will take care of him. He take care of her. That's wonderful. But if this is the case, how come Muhammad, even after his death, women, they cannot go and marry someone else? <clears throat> even Muhammad, he claimed that the woman who Muhammad, he sleep with, became your mother. How is that? I thought adoption in Islam is forbidden. A Muslim, he would say, what is the adoption? This is adoption. How she became his mother? What is the, what is the relative? You know, how she became my mother? He would say metaphorical. Well, it's not, obviously, because I cannot marry them. This is not metaphorical because I'm forbidden from marrying them. So to make the question simple, I don't want to stay longer. I'm trying to make the video short as I can. A man who asks his God or his God who make verses for him about to sleep with as many as he wish. Any woman she can offer herself. And after she offer herself, Muhammad, he sleep with her. And after he sleep with her and Muhammad, he dies till nobody can touch her. What is that have to do with God? Is that an insult to Allah if the wife of Muhammad marry after Muhammad? Is that an insult to Muhammad? Aisha, when Muhammad he died, she was 18. Aisha, after Muhammad died, she was sleeping around. You can watch tons of Shia videos speaking about reference from Islamic Sunni reference. About Aisha decorating him. 
slave girls in order to hunt young men. And this is, cannot be found, you know, I mean, for the Muslim Sunni, they will say, oh, the Shia, they say things, it's not true. Well, my friend, this is your books, Sunni. Actually, maybe I can find you the hadith here. Let us see, maybe we get lucky. Mm -hmm. First try did not work, let's try something else. Uh, let us try another. Yeah, I don't like to, you know, to mention something without showing it. <clears throat> let us try something else. It would be very good if we can find it now in English here in the website. Until now, we did not. Uh, uh, but anyway, we found it actually in Arabic, as usual. You know, and this is Muslim Sunni website. Let me show it to you because they will say it doesn't say that. The book of Ifin, the book of Al Musannaf, the book of Ifin. Ifin, even the name of the book is to F. The statement about showing off a slave girl and walking around with her to show her to show to you know what does that mean prostitution it's here it says hadathana abu bakr qal from 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 this is sunni books an aisha annaha shawafat jariyatan wa tafat biha wa qalat la'allana nastadu biha shababan shababa quraish so she decorated a girl, which means she put makeup on her, and she is a slave, and she walked around with, by her, and she said, maybe we can hunt some young men of Quraysh, the tribe of Muhammad. Translation, we would use Google Translation, because as you know, this is Arabic, most of you do not know Arabic. <clears throat> All right. So she saw, this is, you know, Google translation, not good, but it's okay. She saw a maid, actually, you know, like she, yeah, she saw off the maid. And she went around with her and said, perhaps we will hunt with her, the young of Quraysh. So look what happened. Muhammad, he forbid his wife from having sex with others, even legally by marriage. And then Muhammad, he died. And now Aisha is 18 years old. And you know what does that mean? A girl at the age of 18, and she cannot get married. So what she is doing? She is going around with a slave girl because she cannot show herself. And they follow the slave girl to her house and she do boom, boom. So to make it simple, if Islam is about God and Muhammad is a prophet of God, what? God have to do with offering Muhammad all this sex why Allah is so worried about his sex drive even there is a hadith and stories about Muhammad invoke his God Allah because he have sex problem and then Allah he sent him a dish of shish kebab he ate it he got the power of 40 men so imagine how silly how stupid this story Allah he go to his kitchen after he heard the invoke of Muhammad he cooked for him he sent him a dish with Jibreel, Muhammad, he ate it, and right away after he ate it, his private part is like, Moing! and now he go to the laboratory. In the laboratory, Muhammad, he needs supply because he got the tool, but where is the object? Where is the rice which he want to eat as he described Aisha? So he come with verses claiming that his God Say it to him, it's not him who won that. And later when women, they start offering themselves, and many of them, they are old, with my respect to all people, 
or not good looking with my respect to myself because I'm not good looking but I'm a man thank God but I mean I'm not one of those who are offered to Muhammad that would be a problem <laughs> so those who they are not good looking or old Muhammad he have to find a solution for them so look what he did the verse after it after he noticed I made a mistake by offering everybody he should say pretty one he should make a description so and then because he noticed many of them they are not fit for the job to be in his bed the old one the one is not good looking blah 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 so he said oh Allah said to me oh you Muhammad you can post upon and turn off turn what off whom you will of them <laughs> And you and you may receive whom you will, <laughs> and whom whom's ever you desire. What is this? Hey, Habibi Muhammad, there is many women they are coming to you. I understand they are not good looking, and you are scared to sleep with them, Muhammad. This is not that you want. I understand you. Don't worry. Be happy. I will send you a verse, Muhammad. You tell them I can post upon any one of you. There is many women they want to sleep with the Prophet. And all of them, they are needing the threat to sleep with him. Because the Prophet is sexy and you know it. So, the Prophet, he don't like some women. And some women, uh, they execute me, they don't look good. So the Prophet, Allah, he told him, okay, you can put a bone. Actually, until now, you believe it or not, Muslim women, they pray to Allah to sleep with Muhammad. This is a fatwa in front of me. And the question is, is it okay to pray to Allah for a Muslim woman to sleep with the Prophet or to marry the Prophet? Can you believe it? Do you see the obsession? Translation. <sighs> Question. Okay, is it principle for a Muslim woman to pray to Allah to marry the messenger of Muhammad. <laughs> and the answer for sure, yes, absolutely. There is no objection from prayer to Allah to accompany, this is a translation, go, you know, to, to have sex with Muhammad. Peace be upon him, Allah pray on him, not peace on him. In paradise. And now they are giving you the reference. I mean, do you see how sick this sex cult? They want to sleep with Muhammad? Have you ever heard of a Christian woman, Jewish woman, she's praying to God to sleep with David? Moses? What is that? What is this? So Muhammad, he controlled their mind to the point even women who live today they want to take off their panty to that dead man, Muhammad. So if imagine if Muhammad now he is exist and he go to uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Egypt, Iraq, how many women they will take off their panties? Muhammad, he will say to them, you made my day. I'm waiting for the Muslim to make an answer. And I challenge him to give me the answer why this man is sexually sick. This is a sex cult, and there's no question about that. And we challenge you to prove us wrong. What does this have to do with God? How Muhammad is sleeping with your mother or your daughter or your sister serve God? Why Muhammad, who have a lot of wives, he need more? Why Muhammad, he forbid women from sleeping with other men after him by marriage, legally? Why they cannot? How the women she became your mother after Muhammad, he sleep with her? Questions no Muslim can answer. But obviously, Muhammad is a sick man. But it makes me more sick that a sick man like this can get you sick even after he die. And we are sick of him. Cult leaders, all of them, they share one thing. All of them. They want to sleep with your women. <clears throat> Not with the women you, they like. No. They want to sleep with as many as they can. 
by sleeping with the cult leader, you accomplish a holy mission. And watch my words and the comment of the Muslims and Muhammadan in the comment section. They will say all of them the same. They are serving a holy mission. And if somebody can give us different answer, I challenge you, what is the purpose of this sex with Muhammad, women offering themselves? What is that? What for? Thank you very much for those listening. Don't forget to download the video. And we are waiting for scholars to accept the challenge to debate us, but for sure none of them would dare because they are going in a circle, not inside the square. Thank you. God bless you. Feel free to join us in Patreon if you like to support what we do or just to receive the update about when we go alive on air because we post there first. And I hope we are sharing education as much as we can and people are learning. God bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince. While with you, may the Lord bless you all. Take care.